juice. I see you juice. Keep me rolling juice. Hey babe, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Juice Amor and this is my second life. To start the video, I just want to say that I have some big and exciting news for you guys. I was nominated in the Naltech category at the ICS Nations Oscars Award and it was a public role. I was a role player up against a group of creators and i won i won the award of the best nail tech for 2023 oscars awards i'm so 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 happy about that like all my efforts all my work everything that i've put into this like well it always did mean something but now to get the recognition from public and like supporters and people that like see me even if they may not like make it very obvious it feels so good so i just want to say thank you so much um i'm also a professor now but you will see that in this vlog and i also did go to a smoke fest week four the final week so you see that in this vlog also it's a really good vlog you're gonna enjoy it Let me show you guys my nails so this is the set called studio sweetie it is available on marketplace very cute and for back to school now getting into the vlog i hope you enjoy yourself get your snacks make sure to like comment and subscribe and i hope you really enjoy this currently we're in bayside city with these pretty best friends they came in together to get their lashes done by me so here i am just introducing them to the experience saying hello and making sure they're comfortable when they arrive i'm also going to send them over their lash appointment packs because they had already paid in full before they had arrived so they didn't have to pay anything on arrival so i'm just sending them over now i love when clients come in enthusiastic i love it when clients come in together it's like such a great experience for everybody so i was starting on we were having some technical difficulties here but i was starting with her lashes she wanted to get a volume set i believe it was i was just having a lot of difficulties right here let's just pretend like i didn't stand on her head <laughs> So here the lashes applied onto her gorgeous face, they suited her so well. I love taking a good picture in the middle of it because if I don't do that then I won't have any pictures and I love doing, I love taking the pictures and then adding them to my story after the appointment. Gorgeous, full, fluffy, they fit her eyes so nicely. And then here's her bestie getting her lashes. So I'm just applying the eye pads and tape to her eyes. And there they go. Super cute. Look at them, super full and fluffy. Like she was so responsive. Like this was her first time coming to get her lashes done and she was super duper responsive like she was quick with applying the ipads and tape she was quick with applying the lashes with applying the brush and the mirror gorgeous super cute and pretty so as i was changing because i like remember that i got some stuff earlier in the day as i was changing i received a message from the real estate agent in cedar creek township because in the previous vlog one of my clients expressed that she lives in the suburbs and she would love it if my experience was there so i did look into it and Lily, the lovely real estate agent, reached out to me and gave me a few options. So here I am just checking them out. This place was cute, but it just was a bit too small for me because I do want to put my lashes and my nails in, this, in one location. I don't want to have them 
next door like I do at, with my nail and my lash bar. I wanted to have like a salon location. So these ones that she sent here wasn't really going to work for me because they were quite similar. I did think about this one actually. I considered this store space and the one next door to it and was considering opening my nail and lash bar here. But then I thought about it and I don't know. I checked the other location she gave me and this one was more of what I was looking for like it was more of the vibe that I wanted to go for it was a bit bigger the only the only thing is it's at a slight angle so the angle it's at is a bit odd but the area really looks nice and there are other stores here so it is quite promising that you know citizens will visit or come by because there are functioning other functioning stores there so that was a good sign then i got a message from my client my another client of mine who does live in the city so i was just replying to her letting her know that um i'm looking for a store space so that's exciting um she normally comes to the plug this is my client that um my client kinky that i normally do like really bright colored custom lashes for her i didn't know that she actually lived in this city so this was a good sign um i was just checking around the area and looking at the other store spaces i really liked this setup and the layout i liked how it was very I would not crowded but it was just enough in the area to make it make sense for what I want to do and on top of that there were apartments in the area too so there are people who are living there so that was all good and what sold it for me. So my best friend Rue organized a dinner for me this was so nice like she decorated everything she like planned everything out absolutely amazing like i was so speechless those words i couldn't even walk properly like i was just so taken away because no one's ever done anything like this for me but this game so it was so thoughtful like every inch of it every detail like thank you so much Ru. like so beautiful you guys will see how nice it is like how much effort she put into it we were eating dinner in the sky it was so nice to celebrate me winning the best nail tech award so nice so everything like it just things like this or like this specific thing just makes everything that i've done or going to do all worth it, it just makes it like so good and all the people that were there to celebrate with me it just goes to show like it's all worth it do you know what i mean like we had so much fun we ended up playing risha roulette <laughs> so if you check out the like chat you'll see like some of the questions that were asked and our reactions to the question because the risha roulette game that is a bit intense like that game is not for dinner at all like look take a picture of your avatar with okay <laughs> super duper crazy but either way it was so fun um i came to dinner with rue and my friends my salon girls my co-workers my girly girls there's kat bella neek and imani they all came to celebrate with us so nice like it was so nice all the food was set up like this whole setup was really really good the only thing about it is that it wasn't like a role play experience it was more so like a backdrop for pictures and things but we made it work like yes everything about it was so nice we played a couple other games you know we had a couple drinks we ate some more it was nice i took a lot of pictures i took so many pictures everything was just so nice like there's a risha roulette game that we were playing yes super cute it's giving whoop, what was that about <laughs> but it's giving second life's best nail tech of 2023 yep that's me Thank you so much, Rue. I appreciate and love you so, 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 so much. You're my bestest friend and I can't wait to 
keep making memories of you keep accomplishing goals with you we are going up from here girl this is just the beginning okay another exciting thing that has happened in my second life i've become a professor so it's giving miss amour professor juice i work at southern state university it's the hbcu i am the professor of cosmetology so this is the learning center where i will be teaching i'm just coming in here to pick my classroom this is all so interesting because like as you can hear by my accent i'm from the uk we don't have hbcus over here so all of this is like a new learning experience it's like i'm educating myself as i go on because i'm not gonna lie there was a lot of things that i didn't know about like the greek society like the different terminology like the things like you guys say things like um electives and midterms and things like that so it was a whole lot of learning to do but i'm also having a lot of fun learning about this and i can't wait to experience it even though it's going to be virtual i feel like it will be quite realistic like look at the classrooms like already decorated super duper nice like downstairs is for the more interactive class so like cosmetology music like this like look at all of this so creative i can't wait to see what the other professors get up to check in the glass to see if i have that one and i do because i am about to start getting my classroom prepared i have a um inspiration picture in mind for what i wanted to go for so i'm just using that as a guide for how i'm going to decorate the classroom because of course i'm not a cosmetology teacher in real life and i've never actually taught a class in real life or decorated a classroom so i needed some type of realistic reference to go off and i did find a nice picture on pinterest which is this one here and i'm gonna go off this one to decorate the classroom so right now i'm just making the vanity mirror and a little desk because over here is where the girls or whoever joins my class or any of my students they're going to be doing like i brows eyelashes and makeup because those are the things i'm going to be teaching because with my class i hope that when they graduate they can use what i've taught them to potentially open their own spa or salon or come and work at my salon what i'm going to be teaching them here is all new things that i don't currently do at my salon so they're gonna like really be working in an environment that they learn in I couldn't find the kind of tables that I needed, the kind of desks that I needed, so I made my own table, yes. When they asked me, what do I bring to the table? Look at me making the table, like. Right, so after making the table, I decided to put a few out because they it came out exactly how i wanted to come i'm sure i could have probably found something similar on marketplace but like i just didn't have the time to sit there and search through pages or type or whatever and i'll probably end up having to customize that table anyway i'm also teaching how to do nails so i got this cute idea to use the um accessories from the nail tech table that i have to put on the desk so just to have some accessories they won't be interactive or anything it's just for the students to have some kind of accessories because when they'll be sitting down is when they'll be mainly focusing on the like nails and stuff like that so i wanted to have a space dedicated for that so i have to get ready to go to bayside city and check into my airbnb because it's the last week of smoke fest and i have to make it this week so next scene will be in bayside arrived in bayside city myself and romeo um i rented this airbnb in the emperor really nice and it's super duper close to smoke fest because i'm not gonna lie i'm a bit late i wanted to get there at 3 p.m slt because i wanted to avoid the crowds so that i can like load everything in and like you know get myself comfortable find a good position in there so i am a tiny bit late so i need to like quickly go upstairs get romeo settled put my luggage away get dressed 
and make my way to smoke first so I don't miss anything because my friend Rue, my best friend Rue, she's going to be part of one of the performances today. I believe she's coming on at like 6 p.m. SLT, so I wanted to give myself enough time to be in the environment because that place gets really packed and really full and I wanna make sure that I get in. So here's my b, &B. it's so nice. Um, I found it in the Bayside City Discord. Um, this lovely lady called Willow, she was renting it out. I believe even after Smokefest, it's available for rent also. It's super nice, well decorated. There's a lot of things to do. There's a TV that you can watch movies. You can drive down to the Hyvid store and get yourself a movie while you're here. There's two bedrooms and a spare room and one bathroom and a kitchen. This is one of the spare um one of the other bedrooms and from this room you can see the whole of Smokefest clearly like the view is so nice so i'm probably gonna come back and watch the rest of the smoke fest performances from my house i mean from the bnb after i see my friend performing but look at how exciting this is how nice this is so i need to get changed and get ready to go because i plan to drive there and if i drive need to drive there i need to avoid all traffic and everything like that make sure that I get there on time because that could cut like delay me too because even though the performances start at four I want to get there for free so I didn't even have time to show you guys an outfit because my outfit because look the sim is getting full and I needed to make my way there really quickly so I just had to rush into the elevator rush my outfit didn't even get to do my hair the way I wanted to so messy bun it is didn't get to do like my eyeshadow and all of that stuff so sunglasses it is had to just jump in my vehicle really fast and make my way there do not judge my driving we are not talking about driving today we are trying to get into smoke fest so we're gonna just drive it's not even far at all it's literally around the corner i could have walked here but we're gonna drive here we're gonna be on the bougie side plus i haven't really driven my range rover since i got it so you know any excuse to drive if i'm being so honest with you so here we are, this is where we were when we first came to um, Smokefest. The first week I did my vlog here and I rode the bike. <laughs> yeah, we're not talking about parking, so we're just going to tidy that up. And we're going to pay for parking because I don't want to get a ticket while I'm in there. And the parking meter only runs for like two hours. I could have got another two hours, but I just got for two and like just going to go in and, you know, get myself situated, see my friend perform, see the other performances and like quickly come back avoid, and avoid all ticket inspectors. So at the entrance you can get a HUD and it's just showing you the lineup for the night. So at 4pm is Britney Spears, 5 is Sam Slane and 6 is MJ. That's when my friend is going to be performing with Chris Brown. Per, yeah, my friend's going to be performing with Chris Brown exactly so <laughs> there's me just checking the flyer one more time and just walking into the facility and if you don't know me by now you should know that i'm gonna go look for some type of food some type of drink i'm gonna look for some type of edible something so here i'm in the food court it's a bit more filled up than it was the last time so that's a good sign i'm not sure if the food is my story compatible but i was just you know checking everything out just to see what they had before i went in because i did get there quite early um i got there well not really quite early but earlier than the performance started the performance starts at four and i got here at like 3 20 3 15 3 20 
kind of so luckily i was able to get in so i do have a bit of time to kill um they do have like event type booths here well tents here and i did see something that i wanted to get so i'm just checking around each and every tent to see if i find it and i just came in a circle and i didn't so i'm just gonna make my way to the main stage now and like find a position so i can see the performances really well i thought that there was another um side to it or another part but it was just another side to where I just was walking around. Then I saw these other tents and I was thought to myself, okay, here's a quick view of my outfit, super cute, you know. <laughs> then I saw these other tents and I thought maybe it might be here. Because of YouTube guidelines, I cannot say what it is, but yeah, that's what I'm looking for because we're at Smokefest. So here's another little view of my outfit oh super cute i got this from well i got the skirt from cake day super cute and my bag matches too but it's in my hand all crazy so now that i've got my stuff i'm going to get into the crowd and find somewhere to put my chair so i can sit down and get ready for the performances i'm glad that i got here when i did because there are a lot of people here already and I just wanted to make sure that I could get in and like not be too laggy and all of that stuff. So here's the countdown to Britney. Like the crowd was so ready. They were dancing before the music even started. When I told you the, the production of this whole thing, like look at the angel. I don't even know how they could have possibly even done this. Like look at that. The production was every single thing. Like, especially this Britney performance. I'm so glad I came. Like, girl, I was over here trying to remove certain things from my avatar because I wanted to be able to enjoy it clearly with no problems, no glitches, no lagging. So, yes, enjoy the performances. Here's Britney Spears. <laughs> So after seeing my friend perform, it was time to go back, mainly because I needed to get my car before I got a ticket. Because I'm not going to lie, one thing about Bayside, I do work in a DMV, so I am one of those people that whenever I see a car, I'm taking a picture and I'm reporting, you know, I'm filing up a ticket. So I needed to make sure that I wasn't going to get a ticket. I enjoyed myself. It was so fun. I'm definitely, definitely, definitely going to come to a smoke fest or any other type of event that is like this again, because that was so good. Like the production, especially the Britney Spears performance, the production was everything. Like 
so nice and so fun and then i got to see my girl on stage twirling and whirling with chris breezy okay so the time will definitely run out for sure but i don't think i got a ticket but i'll double check tomorrow because you never know now it's time to go it's really dark outside because it's quite late now so we are going back to the b&b to see my boy romeo and also to finish watching the rest of the performances but from the comfort of the b&b it is so dark i don't even think my lights are on right now but yeah we're gonna make it work either way we're gonna figure it out one thing about driving the cars in bayside the hills will really take you out like <laughs> the steep roads and the hills they will really really take you out but i managed to conquer that now i'm just gonna park up the car and go upstairs and get changed so that i can finish watching these performances really really fun like i enjoyed myself so much like smoke fest has been such a fun experience um i'm so glad that i did end up going like actually going in and seeing the performances live for myself because week three i went but i saw the performances by a big screen i never got to see them in person so getting to see them this time in person was so good and i'm definitely it made me appreciate the performing performing arts part, part of second life it made me really appreciate that type of role play a lot more because i can only imagine the kind of effort time and all of that that goes into making productions like that so we can hear the performances from the bnb so MJ, he's a really good live performer. Him and Sam Slay. Okay, just for the purposes of the video, so you, everyone can see and for so I can see as well. I changed the environment lighting to daytime. Also snacking on a bag of chips. So excuse me. Like um Sam Slay, the person that performed straight after Britney Spears. There's another performer called MJ. They are like Second Life performers who like do concerts on second life they perform at parties weddings and things like that and mj is really good he's a singer and um i think it's so cool because like what i'm doing with the nail tech thing i created my own character and i'm like starting something like that so it's so nice to see other creators doing it in a different way i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you stick around right until the end Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next one. Take it away, MJ.